Okay, so now we will solve a question on superposition theorem involving dependent sources. Okay, so this is the circuit here, and uh, here there are the various elements involved. This is interesting here. This is a dependent source. And here it is a current source where the value of this current source is dependent on voltage here Vx. So it is a voltage controlled current source. Another important thing mostly you will find the dependent sources represented in this way, okay, in a kind of a square. A rhombus uh, kind of a shape but mostly you will see if it is dependent on some other uh, voltage or current parameter then it is a dependent source okay so this is a voltage controlled current source and here it has been asked to find out this value Vx using superposition theorem now if we apply any other uh, way any other method we can easily find out using nodal analysis we can easily find out it will be less time taking but we will find out it using superposition theorem okay okay so here the basic principle of superposition theorem says that you have to consider one of the independent sources at a time while deactivating the other independent sources and you cannot deactivate a dependent source it will be kept as it is you cannot deactivate a dependent source so a voltage source is deactivated by replacing it with a short circuit a current source is deactivated by replacing it with a open circuit okay so here there are two independent sources 25 volt and 5 ampere so we have to consider them one at a time okay so first let us consider this 25 volt voltage source opening open circuiting this 5 ampere current source okay so it is open circuited you do not touch this dependent source it will be kept as it is so now applying nodal analysis okay nodal analysis at this point now another interesting thing is that the voltage here is vx so is the voltage here it is also Vx because there is no resistor in between so there will be no drop in voltage it is shorted so here also the voltage is Vx so if we apply nodal analysis then we can write the nodal analysis equation as let us assume the current directions like this 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 and this is this direction so if we apply nodal analysis here at this point okay will be 25 minus Vx by 20 plus this is a current source with value 0 0.1 Vx or we can write it as Vx let us assume it as Vx dash because it is the first step let us assume it as Vx dash okay Vx dash 25 minus Vx dash Vx dash by 10 we can write 0 0.1 Vx dash as Vx dash by 10 is equal to this is downward this is moving away these two are moving towards so one direction moving away other side so it is Vx dash by 4 okay so now let us bring Vx dash all the Vx dash on one side and 25 and the numerical at one side so it will be 25 
by 20 is equal to vx dash by 4 plus vx dash by 20 vx dash by 20 gone on this side minus vx dash by 10 okay now here if we take the LCM it will be 20 okay so be 5 vx dash plus vx dash minus 2 vx dash which is equal to 4 vx dash by 20 which is equal to 25 by 20 20 20 cancel so vx dash is equal to 25 by 4 this is the first step which means considering the 25 volt source this next step we have to short circuit this 25 volt uh, voltage source connecting or activating the 5 ampere current source ok so let us do that ok so now let us do the second step in which we have to short circuit this voltage source and reconnect this 5 ampere current source in this case the dependent voltage source will be represented as vx double dash the second step here also it will become vx double dash ok so again we have to apply nodal analysis let us assign the current directions let's say this is in this direction this is in this direction okay so these two points are same because they are shorted together so it will be the same potential okay so now applying nodal analysis at this node vx double dash node all the outward going currents will be written together that is vx double dash by 20 this outgoing current and this outgoing current plus vx double dash by 4 and the incoming currents okay which are going towards the node that is vx double dash by 10 plus 5 so our objective is to find vx double dash okay so let us bring vx double dash in one side all the vx double dash so it is vx double dash by 20 plus vx double dash by 4 minus vx double dash by 10 is equal to 5 okay again cm 20 vx double dash plus 5 vx double dash minus 2 vx double dash is equal to 5 ok that implies this is 4 vx double dash is equal to 100 or vx double dash is equal to 100 by 4 which is equal to 25 volt ok so vx double dash is equal to 25 volt this is while considering the 5 ampere independent source short circuiting the 25 volt voltage source now 
According to superposition theorem, the response at any point in the circuit is the sum of the individual responses considering each of the independent sources one at a time. So here, it has been asked to find out Vx for the initial circuit, means considering both 25 volt and 5 ampere, okay. It has been asked to find out for this. 25 volt this this has been asked so vx will be vx dash plus vx double dash means vx this voltage while considering the 25 volt deactivating the 5 ampere and vx double dash which is calculated considering the 5 ampere and deactivating the 25 volt so it will be 25 by 4 plus 25 okay we calculated vx dash was 25 by 4 plus 25 which is basically 100 plus 125 by 4 volt which will be let's say let us calculate it a bit so it is coming around 31.25 Okay, so the voltage here is equal to 31.25 volt. Okay, so this is we calculated using superposition theorem for the circuit which involved both independent and dependent voltage sources. Okay.